Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and if you're new here, I'm not always this close up. I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty, and I'm pretty obsessed with indie brands. Today we are talking mascara, hacks, and tips. All right, beauties, before we dive in, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Share the video out if you do enjoy the content. It really does help me as a creator. Turn on your post notifications so that you're notified of all future videos. And if you like me, even just a little bit, maybe you should subscribe. Anyways, we are up close and personal, which is not always a thing here uh, on my channel. <laughs> but we are focusing on the eyes, so I wanted to get up close and personal. Most of these you guys probably already know, but just in the case that you don't, I wanted to do a short and sweet little video. We're going to do one eye kind of with all my tips and tricks and hacks, and then the other eye without mascara to start with, be up close and personal, and then I will add just a kind of generic, if you will, coat of mascara to this eye, and you'll see the difference. And of course, we all have different likes, loves, and loathes different preferences. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa. Keep in mind it is just makeup. It is not that serious. We are just here to have some fun. So my very first tip, trick, hack, whatever you want to call it, is good old-fashioned, y'all. Old-fashioned eyelash curler. Um, this one's a dollar from the Dollar Tree. My favorite ones that I've ever tried are from Tarte. That one broke. And then an old-school, old, old, old-school Revlon one that I no longer have because it was ancient. <laughs> so first we're going to go in and curl our lashes. My mirror's right here, so please forgive me. I always, always, always curl my lashes. I think it makes such a huge difference. And you'll see I keep this finger right here. You can see I keep it right here instead of kind of putting it like this. That's just so that I can kind of control the pressure that I am putting. And you'll see that I'm kind of holding it here literally for a, probably a full solid minute or so. And then I'm going to kind of rock it up. Then I'm gonna walk it up just a little bit. I'm still kind of staying at the base, but I really wanna make sure that I'm getting the outer lashes, I'm getting everybody in there. And again, I'm sitting here for a few seconds. I'm not going in and just kind of clamping down and then I'm done. Now I'm gonna remove my finger and I'm gonna do a couple little pulses. As I'm pulsing, I am also walking it up the lashes very, very easily. And then I'm gonna release. So just, just doing that, as you can see, dramatic lift and dramatic curl already. Pretty awesome, huh? I think so. Anyways, uh, and again, these are dollar from the Dollar Tree. Get whatever one you like the most. Um, I think the key with using a lash curler is, again, not just kind of sticking it on, holding it for two seconds, and then expecting something. Um, and also, if you guys saw, I was also looking slightly down and then placing the lash curler and again, holding it there really for a good amount of time. I mean, a full solid 30, 45 seconds longer if you want to. And I want to hurt none. Okay, honey. Now, my next little hack tip trick is if you have a mascara that's drying out, this one's not. I just got it. But I just want to show you guys. Go in with whatever your favorite eye drops are. Warning. <laughs> If you have not used the eye drops in your actual eye before, so you know there's not going to be any kind of irritation, stinging, anything like that. And before anyone says, well, eye drops are not supposed to do that, they can do that. Um, I personally, myself, have experienced that, and I know a lot of you guys have as well. If you have very sensitive eyes especially, please make sure when you do this little hack or this tip, please make sure it's eye drops you actually use in your eyes. So you literally just undo this, and let's say that this was super dry and super gunky. We're going to go into our eye drops and literally two tiny drops, you guys, is all you need. One and two. I'm going to put my wand back in very slowly and then I'm going to kind of twist the wand around. I'm going to seal it up and then I'm going to shake. And even though this one wasn't dry, it automatically looks a lot better and it looks much wetter than it originally did. Um, and again, it's not anything that's going to affect the eyes. It doesn't affect the mascara, in my opinion. I've never experienced that before where it affected the mascara, how it wears or applies. And it's a very affordable hack or tip. Um, my favorite eye drops are Lumify, but these are $12 and these are $4. So I don't know that I would necessarily use my all-time favorite expensive ones and put them in my mascara only because they both serve the same purpose. So that is hack or tip number two. Number three is using either a lengthening 
and a volumizing mascara together or going in with a lash primer and then your choice of mascara. For a lot of us, the length is enough. For myself, I want lengthening, but I'm mainly looking for curl, lift, and then just volume. So we're going to go in with two different mascaras. If I were not going in if I were doing more than just one eye, I would definitely show you on both eyes. Um, but using the lash primer, and again, it can be any lash primer that you prefer. Um, this is the Tarte one. The Essence one is under $5. So there are definitely options, you know, low end and high end. But again, I would go in with a lash primer and then whichever one I was just feeling that day, whichever one is your favorite mascara, or go in with a lengthening mascara first. And what this is going to do is obviously separate and really lengthen and open up your lashes, preparing them for your volumizing mascara. Now, before anyone says, girl, that is too much, in my opinion, it's worth it. It only takes an extra few seconds. And because I am somebody that is solely a mascara wearer and I don't wear lashes, this I really feel like is incredibly impactful. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do our lengthening mascara first. My next hack or tip is also included in this. And that is, and I don't know why I never see people do this ever. Um, I always, if you guys watch every single video I've ever done, I will start here. I'll do a little tiny kind of lift from the bottom, from the root of my lashes. Then I close my eyes. And if you're wearing shadow or anything like that, it doesn't affect it. It doesn't mess with it. I want to get super close so you guys can see me. You're going to take it on the top of the lashes as well. And I literally just wiggle and open my eyes. This way, the top part of the lash and the bottom part of the lash are already black and you can already start to see that I'm really starting to build up and it just, in my opinion, makes a big difference. Now, if you're wearing lashes, now if you're wearing falsies, you probably don't need to do that step. Um, I just, you, ha all, you, you typically have shadow kind of caked in the top part of the lashes or something like that. And all too often, I will see people not ever touch the top parts of the la top part of the lashes but I don't see people do the top part of the lashes and then you can see kind of shadow on there. The lashes are just not quite as thick or as black as they need to be or could be. So you can see with this, I'm not getting much in the way of volume at all. I'm getting a ton of separation and I'm getting a ton of length. So just curling our lashes, doing the top part of the lashes and the lower part of the lashes, and using just our lengthening mascara. The difference is pretty damn incredible. Now, while this is still semi-wet, we're gonna go in with our volumizing mascara, and again, it can be your favorite mascara, whatever one you love. This one is the Pat McGrath, and this one is Maybelline Sky High. Now, while this is still slightly wet, I'm gonna go into the center first, and I'm getting all the way to the root, to the base of the lash. I'm gonna extend it, and lift up and you will start to see and you saw I did not use a whole lot of the Maybelline and I'm not going to use a whole lot of this now if you like very kind of thick spidery lashes then add as many coats as your little heart desires I don't personally like that I like them to be lifted I like some curl I like some volume but I still want them to look like kind of my natural lashes, if that makes any sense. You know, a better version of my lashes, if you will. And again, coming all the way to the lash line and bringing it up. Now, if you ever do get to a place and you are like me and you don't like a kind of overly thick, spidery type of lash, my next hack is to always keep these little disposable little mascara applicators on you. And... You can go back through and just kind of where it has gotten a little thicker or maybe they've kind of clumped up a little bit. Again, that's personal preference. I will take this through. You can also use an actual lash comb, but I mean, these are incredibly affordable. And I will just do the exact same thing I would do with a lash comb. I'm not taking away any of my length. I'm not taking away any of my volume and it still looks really, really beautiful. And then my very last hack is literally to just go back in with your volumizing or a super skinny mascara wand for your lower lashes. And the same thing. I always see people come in from here and they just go down. I always, 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 you will see, come underneath my lashes 
the same way I did the top of my top lashes. And then I will coat them as I normally would. And I really like to use, again, a lengthening, oops, <laughs> a lengthening or a very super skinny wand. The Wet n Wild, like Mega Slim, I think is what it's called, mascara, is beautiful and perfect for lower lashes. The Maybelline Sky High is perfect also for the bottom lashes. And again, I'm just going to the root and pulling out. And then if you do ever get, this is not necessarily application wise, but another hack or tip is if you do get mascara anywhere, leave it there until it is completely dry. If you try to flick it away or rub it or anything like that, it's literally just going to smear all over you. Um, not cool. So while this is sitting here, we're going to get up close again. So you can see I have a lot of lift. My lashes are incredibly black. There's a lot of volume. I have a lot of length. They're still curled. They're staying up in place. And the difference, obviously, between no mascara and having mascara is pretty damn incredible. Um, and I feel like I have pretty decent lashes to begin with. But even if you don't, these are really, really good tricks. If you ever have an issue where you are curling your lashes, you're doing all of these steps, and your lashes are still, and your lashes are still kind of falling, and that curl is not staying there, after you curl your lashes. Do your lengthening mascara first and then do a waterproof mascara. I personally do not like waterproof mascaras. They're just not my cup of tea. They may be your double shot and that's just fine. But layering them up in that way keeps them a little bit more long lasting as well. And it's a little bit easier to get the waterproof mascara off, which is why a lot of us don't like waterproof mascara, um, because you already have that lengthening mascara laid down first. So even removing it is a little bit easier in that way. So now I'm just going to take my Pat McGrath. This is the Fetish Eyes Mascara. And I'm going to do literally one coat. I only did one coat for each of those mascaras over here. Again, I kind of start in the center. I wiggle my way up. I'm going to do the top of my lashes as well. And wiggle down. And then I will go in and do the actual application. So you can see it looks slightly clumpy, which I don't, don't mind that. That's why I have this. I'm going to go in the same exact way as I did with the other eye. And I know it seems like a lot, you guys, it seems like, you know, a lot of steps, but you literally, when you're doing your own makeup application, you know, you're not sitting here talking to somebody, you're going to throw it on and you're going to leave your house and it's going to be no big deal. So while this is beautiful and it does look really pretty, even on its own, you can just see the difference as far as, you know, volumizing, lengthening, things like that. I just think it looks a little bit better. I have a little bit more curl. It's a little bit more long lasting for me personally. And it takes two seconds. Now this is dry. I'm literally going to go right back into this and I'm going to just flick it off and it should literally just crumble off super easily. So those are my hacks and my tips. And then one last little one. Say you absolutely love the Maybelline Sky High. This is a brand new one, so it's not dried out or anything. Say this is your favorite. It's gunked up. It's dried out. And you're like, man, I don't have time to go to the store to replace this. Grab another tube of mascara. Stick your wand in there. And then apply. A lot of times it's the wand that we really like. Yes, there are beautiful mascara formulas. Um, and before someone says that's gross, you're cross-contaminating, it's literally my mascara going on my eye, going into a tube of mascara that goes on my eye. Um, that's how I personally feel about it. But if you just love this, you've run out of it, you can't get to the store and you're like, oh, you know, I have a cheap whatever laying around that's not my favorite mascara, honey, stick that one right in that tube and put it on. So I'm going to do my bottom lash line over here so we at least kind of sort of match. And again, you guys don't have to do these hacks. Um, you literally can just go in and do mascara, especially if you're somebody that wears falsies. Um, for me, though, I just love the long wearability of this, and I love the length and the curl that I get from this. Um, so hopefully this helps you in some way. It, it doesn't have to be fancy mascaras, but literally just any lengthening mascara, any volumizing mascara, they're a match made in heaven, typically, or go in with a lash primer. I definitely think that the curling of the lashes, um, hopefully it is reading on camera how 
much more curled this is, how much more lifted this side is. Um, I definitely, I love mascara. You guys know this. I love the way that mascara and or lashes just really opens up the eyes. I think it's a beautiful way that even if you have no makeup on at all, I literally have a little bit of complexion product, no eyeshadow, no nothing, but this is enough that I, I mean, I would go out to lunch or something looking like this. So I hope this helps you guys in some way. Uh, what are your tips? What are your tricks for mascara? I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.